and we're off. We have a, uh, a deeply reefed mainsail, no jib. Him is reefed. It's gusting, it's probably 15 to 20 knots, so we're gonna finish crossing the top of the, uh, the reservoir and then we're gonna head down on the uh, head south on the east channel. It's a fairly large open area. Always interesting to see what's around the next bend. Apparently we're coming into an area where there are tons of shoals, so you have to be very careful steering between them. There's some kind of venturi effect here, we're really accelerating. <laughs> Mark had to let go of the tow line because it's just too difficult. To, I'm having a hard time keeping the boat on a straight course and the kayak just yaws too much. Getting steep. We uh, landed on this sandy spit for a break. That was some kick ass sailing. After a rest, we're making the final downwind uh, leg to the new campsite, which is about two miles away. Sandy Island. It's been sculpted like a, a cake box. Huh. Cool. Give it a bit of a wide berth. It's all islandy and everything here. Here 
Here's where the, uh, the lake gets really, really large. That's the uh, the run to the south, and it's very, it's about, well, it varies in width, but in places about two nautical miles on the on the chart. I gotta go pull my rudder blade up to land. I think this is gonna be our home for uh, night three. Beautiful beach. Lots of room for tents. It's nice and flat up here. There's even a toilet. Well, uh, a thunder box anyway. And, uh, beautiful. There's a home sweet home. Tim scouted around the island and this beach is even better than the other one. <laughs> yeah, look at the, the whole beach is strewn with our effects. <laughs> yeah, looks like a, there was a shipwreck here.